Hey, what's up? Here with another video. Today we're getting into the Lutron Caseta and why they have two different models. I'm also gonna show you guys how to integrate the Caseta with my personal favorite smart home gateway, the Vera. So to start, Lutron has the Lutron Bridge and the Lutron Bridge Pro. They look exactly the same, so you can get them mixed up very easily. Super small form factor, really quality build. Um, there's a $40 difference between the Lutron uh, standard bridge and the Lutron Pro. But there's two very important features that you wanna get with the Lutron Pro, if that's the route that you're going. One is Lutron shade support you get with the Pro. So Savoia shades, you can pick those up at Home Depot or if you have an installer come by, um, you can get those installed. Uh, really cool shades. But the other thing is if you wanna integrate anything Lutron related, so Lutron shades, Lutron lighting, um, their remotes into your current gateway, you're gonna to wanna to use the Lutron, you have to use the Lutron bridge because it supports Telnet. So if you have a Raspberry Pi, Home Sear, Vera, uh, another um, home brew type home automation system, or if you have one of the bigger boys, RTI, Control 4, uh, URC, those control systems require the bridge to, to have two-way communication. So if you wanna have everything in one app, um, or if you wanna build features off your, your current control system, you definitely wanna go with the Pro. Now, I'm gonna put links down below so you guys don't get it mixed up. Um, they look, again, they look identically the same. There's a $40 price difference, so make sure you pick up the Pro. Now we're gonna hop on the computer here. I'm gonna show you guys how to integrate the Lutron Pro with my current Vera Smart Home Gateway. Um, if you guys don't have the Vera Smart Home Gateway, you'll still wanna watch because this will give you a full concept of how to do this with your home automation system. All right guys, so before we get started, we want your Caseta Pro to be set up, meaning that you've installed it, you've added devices, it's functioning properly at, on its own, you can add more devices later if you choose, but we want, we want some devices in there. So we're adding them to the Vera, of course. Um, the second thing that we want to look at is to make sure that we have a static IP address set on the Caseta Pro and that Telnet is turned on. To do that, you're going to go into settings and in the Lutron app, and you're going to go into advanced. Under advanced, you're going to see integration and you're going to see Telnet support. We want to make sure that's turned on, which it is. And we want to go into network settings. In here, you want to click off DHCP and set your IP address. So in this instance, mine is 192.168.1.107. Um, if you guys do not know how to set a static IP address, there's tons of information online. Just Google search it. Um, you can do a DHCP reservation from your router side, or you can actually do it within the app, which a lot of people will probably prefer. Um, but it's fairly simple. All we want to do is make sure that that Caseta Pro is, uh, is staying in one location on your network. We don't want it bouncing around IP addresses um, because that's how we're going to control it. So once you're done with that, you're going to click save. And you're going to let that load. Um, it takes a second for the Caseta Pro to, to uh, take those settings. Um, and we're done with the Caseta Pro for right now. The next thing that we're going to do is go into your apps. And we're going to install, I already have it installed here, but you're going to install Lutron Radio Raw to Gateway. So if you go in and install apps and type in Lutron, it's going to pop up. And in here, you're going to click download, um, give it a couple minutes, two to three minutes should be good. And what's going to happen is you're going to get a new icon on your desk, on your uh, device list. It'll pop up in no room because mine's already downloaded. It's down here under my utilities room. That's where I would put it. So this is the Lutron Radio Raw 2 plugin. I need to go into the settings here and you need to go into advance and there's two pages that we need to make changes to, to set this thing up so that it imports those devices from your Lutron Caseta Pro. 
the first is your IP address. So again, this is the 192.168.1.107 IP address. Yours is gonna be different, um, whatever you set that static IP address to. The second thing on this list is we need to update the username and password. Yours will be blank, but it's gonna be the same as mine, Lutron and integration. This is the username and password to the Caseta Pro. Um, and this is the Telnet uh, uh, login. So you can't change this, this is, this is to stay. Um, so it'll, it will be the same. The second thing we need to change on here is you need to go into variables and we need to tell Vera to look for these devices. And under my device list, you'll see B71223, et cetera. And B stands for blinds. Now there's blinds, there's dimmers, there's binary switches, and there's keypads. So if I go in here and edit this, and I type in um, uh, D colon, and say I have a device number 30. I'm gonna show you how to find these device numbers here in a second, but I just wanted to give you some syntax and as to what these letters are, are for. So this would tell me that I've got, let me add one more here, 22 and say switch and say this is uh, 25 or something, 24. So what this is telling me here is I've got a device number seven, 12, two, but they're all blinds and it needs to be in this syntax. So you need to do a semicolon once you're done and then a capital letter. So say you had dimmers, you'd have D colon uh, 30, 22. These are your two dimmers, semicolon, switch, colon, the number, and then to close it off here. And you would click save. And all these devices would populate into your Vera. So let me show you how to find these device numbers. And again, I only have blinds, so I'm gonna get rid of these. This will all be listed down below too, the, the letters um, in correspondence to the device numbers. So you get the device list by going in back into your Lutron app, going into advanced and integration and send integration report. On iOS, this brings up your mail and it brings up this big list of um, devices and uh, I don't even know what this is just basically all your device list that um, the Lutron has built in. So what we're looking for is if you go down all the way down to the bottom, there's a place where it says ID number and a number next to it. It's also under um, zones. So for instance here, I've got front window ID two, side window ID three, kitchen shade, ID five, and so on, seven, six, 10, so on. So we wanna add all these ID numbers. Now, if you have switches and if you have dimmers, you would go ahead and put those um, in different, in different uh, categories. So like D, again, colon, uh, say you had a device number 20, and then close it off, semicolon. So then, I only have one dimmer here, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shades, right? Um, and you click save and we, and this would be done. So that's how you get your device list. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. So it's back to my norm. And I'm just gonna close this out so that I don't have to reboot. So once that's done, and you go back into the main device, I click save changes. And every once in a while you have to, um, you gotta give it some time, but every once in a while you have to click in a, a reboot on your Vera in order for the, the, uh, the shades to show up or, or switches or whatever you have. But you need to go into devices and up here all your shades uh, in this case, all your shades would, would populate. 
and you'll typically get a little blue bar up here that says um, Lutron app uh, refreshing or something like that. So all your shades would pop in here under no room and there'd be no name associated with it. So here I've got a name associated to this shade, but there wouldn't be a name associated with it. You actually have to go up, you have to open and close it to see which one is which. It'll just say no name, um, but it will be in a shade template. So that's when you go into each one, you just name it, assign it to a room, click save, and you're done. And you go through all of them that you have and you, you organize them and you're, and you're good to go. Now these shades, let me show you here. Um, let me go back into my app. Hopefully this works as I show you. But if I go into the family room shade and I click open, it, 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 it basically, it, it's pretty quick, right? Um, it showed you that um, it, I pressed open within the app. What's cool about this is you can create scenes around your Lutron shading app if you, if you choose to. Say you don't want to open the Vera app or say you, you like to open up the Lutron app, but you want shade or you want scenes to be triggered off of a button press that you pressed in the Lutron app, you would make that a trigger. So your trigger in the scene would be shade raised to a hundred, uh, do something. Um, and so let me go ahead and close it. And you can see that with less than a second, it, it, it reacted on Vera. So that's pretty cool. So that really wraps up um, how to do this. If you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. I'd love to answer those. If you'd like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of what's going on and what I'm into, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and that's it. I'll leave you guys off with a little video footage of uh, these shades going up and down and some automation. We'll see you next time.